UK Power Networks is at the forefront in enabling the transition to low carbon transport, especially here in London, where the air pollution is of increasing concern to our customers. We have connected Europe's first fully electric bus garage at Waterloo, and the buses operating from that bus garage saved 900 tonnes of carbon. We've helped UPS realise their ambition to introduce more EVs into their fleet here in London without increasing grid capacity. We've installed over 100 rapid chargers in record time to support London's black taxis go green. And every month, we connect new charge points to support our customers going electric. Our eight new EV vans are now on the road and we're adding electric cars to our company car list for the first time. Our staff will use the EVs across London from depots in Brixton, Camden, Canning Town and Falcon Wood to help keep the electricity network running for the 8.2 million homes, businesses, schools and hospitals and EV charge points for our customers. Electric vans will also be used by our UK Power Network services staff at Heathrow, Gatwick, Stansted and London City airports. Today we're introducing eight electric vehicles into our fleet and we're giving employees an opportunity to have an EV as part of the company car list. UKPN is leading in the development of smart grid, improving the environment in the communities in which we serve for the benefit of our customers and future generations. Well, from the point of view of an employer of choice, we've listened and responded to employee feedback regarding the adoption of EVs. We are committed to being the most responsible corporate citizen. We've already reduced our business carbon footprint by 16% and introducing EVs will help to reduce it further. We remain committed to being the lowest cost uh, DNO. Uh, the introduction of these vehicles will reduce uh, the whole life cost of uh, vehicles by 15% over seven years. Piloting EVs is incredibly important to our staff and the communities we serve. We're investing in the future. We are very concerned about the air quality. It, it seems to be affecting the children's health. Um, the, there are man, many more children now with asthma than I certainly was aware of earlier. And we have a, a huge number of pumps in the school. The children have learnt a lot. UK vans have come with their electric cars and I'm sure for the future the children will remember this and hopefully only ever have um, an electric car. We've been um, we we've been um, going into the electric vans and meeting and meeting the engineers. They so if you have a problem with electricity, they can come and fix school and fix the road and see how good it, your light is and if it's bad or good. I think that a very extraordinary technology, which which is um, which is going to be extremely useful in the future because they um, they don't release any fossil fuels and they keep our air a lot cleaner. I have asthma um, and these are vessels because it doesn't make my asthma so bad. And even though we do use a lot of electric, a lot more electricity, at least it means that it may improve people's asthma. Literally got it this morning, so I've had it for a couple of hours now. It's really nice. It's it's very similar to an automatic car, so it's very smooth. Um, yeah, obviously no gear changes, which is lovely. I think it's the way forward. So obviously, you know, um, at some point. We're probably all going to be at this, you know, with the electric vehicles. Um, so we're just obviously making that step to start progressing towards that. Um, but yeah, it's really great, obviously, for the next generation as well. So.